What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Game Dude here, welcoming you back to another episode of Dang and Ropa. In the last episode, we kind of uh, killed Celeste, but in the form of a trial, we didn't actually do the killing. It was her own fault for killing in the first place. So, Kyoko, at the very end of that, decided to tell us, hey, we should probably go to the men's bathroom. We gotta, sh I gotta show you something that's in there. What could she possibly be doing in there? No idea, but it's time for us to find that out. Also, it's not blue, it's black, and that's interesting. I don't know, it just... Okay. What could she possibly be worried about here? Wait, I remember clicking on this door, and it was like, this is just an ordinary door. This is just a normal closet, as far as I can tell. The secret Kyoko told me about, could it really be hidden in here? Oh. She said it was way back in the storage closet. But, I mean, seriously? Without thinking, I placed my hand on the back of the strange closet, and suddenly, as if I were being yanked in. Gashunk. At the same time, I heard that sound. I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. Brump. I had fallen in the back of the storage closet. Huh? It turned out. The back wall was a revolving door, and I made my way to the other side, just like Kyoko had said. Correct. In the boys' bathroom on the second floor, there's a strange closet. And in, in way back in that closet, there's a secret room. So this is a secret room. But what is in here? What is in here? It's just a normal desk with normal drawers. Uh, there's nothing to click over here. There's a bunch of files in what looks like a volume after volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dusk. Dust. Everything. Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Hope Peaks Academy Student Registry. This is the only thing in here not covered in dusk. Has someone been looking through it recently? I slipped the file into my hand, but before I had a chance to look at it, a slip of paper fell out of the file, and I turned my attention to it. What is this? You must not leave. That's kind of weird. I understand if it said, I can't leave, but you must not leave? What is this? My head feels funny. This strange sensation. It's like deja vu. The words, you must not leave. I've seen them before somewhere, but... I can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I. I. Uh, a strange sound rang out through my head. It felt like I was shaking my brain back and forth. And then, darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. We were attacked. Why were we attacked? Ugh, ow. Apparently something hit me and I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The dull, throbbing pain in my head proved as much of that much at least. We were attacked. Uh... Who were we attacked by? Was it Mysterious Student 18? Or 16? Or was that somebody we know? An empty bookshelf. Huh? Empty? Gone? It's all gone? The yearbooks, the student registry, and even the note that had fallen on the floor? It's all gone? What does this mean? My brain refused to do any more work. The instant pain, er, insistent pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. But for now, I should go back into my room and get some rest. My body was heavy with the pain. My mind was heavy with the thought. I dragged myself back towards my room. Somehow, I made it to the back to the first floor of the school. Ugh. The further I walked, the more I felt things getting blurry. I can't see in front of me. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that... Huh? 
as if it were a vast, from a vast distance, I heard a sound. If it was faint, it was undeniable. That sound. It's coming from the gym. As I desperately hauled my shaky frame towards the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. Crack, dang, gagunk, bagah. What's going on? It can't be nothing. Here in a gym? It's probably Sayaka working out. Or not Sayaka, Sakura working out. That's my guess. I didn't make a, so a sound as I opened the door to the gym. The sound coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified more and more. Kakabaya. Haya. Paking. Baya. Gadadayam. Shashashashasha. Yes. Wait. They're working out together? Before me, there raged a battle beyond anything humanely possible. No one, no one side not human, that's for sure. But regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to move or even breathe. Defy? This wasn't part of the deal! What? The deal? I made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Okay. Sakura was the spy? You do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? <sighs> what am I looking at? What am I hearing? A hostage? Then could it be? The mastermind spy is... While I was, <laughs> you received the Super Robo Justice present. While I was super wrong on who the spy was, so Hero really is just dumb. Hero really is just that dumb. Okay, good to know. Oh, Hero, you poor, you poor soul. You received the three is a crowd. Chapter three is finished. Lilian killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Jihiro. And then he got executed. Hafumi killed Taka. Then Celeste killed Hafumi. Then she got executed. And that brings us up to now. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. So now there's only five of us here. Only a third of the number of people would be started with. Loneliness has become commonplace. That's true. Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sakura is the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? Makoto, are you okay? Uh, no, no, no I, I, I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. Okay. okay, in that case, let's eat until we pass out. What do you mean in that case? Well, because look how scary everyone looks. It's gotta be because you all are fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you feel your belly, belly, I'm sure it'll cheer you all up. So let's eat. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. That's like a deep impact style, meteor impact, extinct, instinction level, threat, event combination of foods. What? Those are both breakfast I time top sellers. Still, 
the till we can't stand up part of the problem. After we're done, we need to go explore, you know? That's right. Since class trial is over, new areas should have opened up. It's true. Plus, we still have Alter Ego. We don't know have to give in to the despair just yet. She's right. We do have a plan ahead and think about what the future holds. Yeah, yeah. Think happy thoughts, not deadly thoughts. Like, when are we going to get out of here, right? When this is all over, I think I'm going to reborn for ser for serious. Or, I mean, reborn as someone serious. No. Hey, are you okay? That sounds like someone, something someone who's about to die would say. Mm. I'm totally okay, bruh. Not like I'm going to die. Why? Because there aren't going to be any more murders. No. Huh? What makes you so sure? I predicted it last night. Since if it was revealed itself to me earlier, there's no doubt about How that. Accurate. How accurate is your fortune telling anyway? I usually hit about 20 or 30% on a good day. Woo! -woo. That seems really low. Like well, yeah. It's not like it's ESP or whatever. Of course, I'm only going to hit right sometimes. I told you, my fortune telling isn't some like isn't like some occult thing. Fortune telling isn't a cult? Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutilation. Cattle what? He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows, dissect them for parts of their research. Nah, you're calling that an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it happened to me, bruh. All it happened, it all happened one day when I went back to go get a hamburger and the place I'd never been before. They claimed the patties were 100% all beef. So I got a burger and headed home. But before long, the sky filled with a mysterious blinding light. Some crazy bean came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. And as soon as the bean touched it, the burger started floating in midair. And then... Still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart. One part of it just vanished, while the rest fell back into my hand. Do you realize what that means? It means the burger wasn't 100% beef. It must have had some pork or something mixed in. What the? Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. What the heck, hero? You can't trick me. I stormed back to the burger place, got up on the manager's grill, and they totally admitted it. It wasn't a whole 100% beef. They totally mixed in ground pork with it. How, about that? How Now you see, that is cattle mutilation. I, I kind of got lost halfway through. I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. You, I stink of, how dare you? Well, you do stink, though. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Um, anyway, I hope your prediction turns out to be true. Well, at the very least, I myself won't murder anyone. Me either. I mean, I would never. Me either. Nor I. That goes for me too. Of course, I could never kill any of my friends. I felt those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we finally become un untitled. But... To be honest, I wish Biakia and Toko were here for this too. But they're hard, so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. Yeah, we're better off without them, I say. That was enough to prove. If we were united by the time, for the time being, but within that bond hid weakness and fragili fragility. Chapter 4 All Star Apologies. With people I don't recognize in the title or in the thumbnail. We began our search as soon as we'd finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what had opened up and what was waiting for us. My guess is floor four?
So now we, now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope Peaks Academy. Maybe this time we'll find out some sort of clue. No, this time I have to find it. Hold up. I see a Monokuma room and I'm automatically scared. Rattle, rattle. No good. Doors locked. Guess it won't begin again. According to the nameplate, it's called the Data Center. What's behind the door is a total mystery. Oh, this is where uh, Monokuma has been surveying us from. Okay. Well, I guess to the science lab? Oh, there's a fifth floor too? Jeez. I was not expecting there to be a fifth floor. Hi, hero. I'm glad this floor got opened up and all, but there's a ton of locked rooms up here, bruh. Great. With there being a lot of locked rooms, that means that some shenanigans is going to happen. The chemistry room. That's a scary room. Inside the room was a small machine. Uh, inside the, the small the smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. It's a remarkably big shelf and stocked with all kinds of medicine. Ah, listen, Makoto, listen. Just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me. Okay, Hina, chill out. There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and creatine. And what... There's even Proteinzyme X? What? What's that? Hey. High-quality protein drink. Drink. It's nothing like that cheap swill in the warehouse. It's got a sewer level. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. It's a gold mine, and all my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up on more prayers, then. A gold mine, huh? Well, I guess what do they have to talk about in here about it? No, 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 no. He and Sakura seem to be lost deep in deep but friendly conversation. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the mastermind, but I can't while she's with Hina. Huh? You need something? No, no, no. It's nothing. You sure? Okay, then. Sakura is lost in conversation with Hina. I need to go find out what's... What is it, Makoto? Did you need something? No, it's nothing. Really? Well, okay. The office. The punishment room. No, it's just an actual office. Oh, what is that? This is the office? But of course there's no hint of any teachers that would normally be able to rely on. What? Oh, wrong buttons. That's why. Huh? There's a picture on the floor. This picture. What? Celeste, Hafumi, and Sayaka. The smiling faces of three people who are now dead. But the classroom without metal plates all over the windows. It's exactly the same. It's just like that picture we saw before, or I saw before. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling all the way you'd expect any normal teenager would smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal life. It can't possibly be that they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. Does that mean the picture was taken before they came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean that everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here? Including Sayaka. No, there's no way. Monokuma did it. It must be a fake. <laughs> no, no, you're fake. Uh, Monokuma popped out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. A Forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You could look, think the moon landing was fake too? Come on. Then you're saying that a picture is real? If there is such thing as a Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question. Is this picture for real or is it fake? Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? 
But there's no use. It's just certainly no use. If you try and split something that you can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. The picture is real. No more, no less. Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. The picture is real. It's really real? If that's true, if that's the case... We have like 800 flowers. We should probably click on one of them. There's a flower on the desk. Somehow it makes things feel much weirder. Agreed. The flowers do make things a little bit weirder. Is it all just the flowers on the desk? Oh, but I'm getting an individual coin for each of them that I click on. It's worth it. I will collect all those coins. The Monokuma coins are worth it, after all. Okay, the rest are just normal things. Leave the area? Yes. The administrative office, huh? What could be there? Name played on it says Headmaster's Room. Headmaster's Room. That must be something worthwhile in there. Damn it, the door's locked. I mean, it's okay, because we're going to go to the music room. Uh, the auditorium. What could be in the auditorium? This is the music room. It can hard is it's hardly even a classroom. It's more like a concert hall. Yup. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think um. about the secret room and the boys' bathroom. Uh well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind and I didn't have any time to react, so I didn't see who it was. And when I came to, the mountains of flies and documents were gone. I'm sorry. I know how important those That's were. Fine. It's okay. I heard, I already saw what I needed to see in there. And I have suspected the Mastermind might have come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the Mastermind must have seen me on surveillance camera in the hallway. Then, I had seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. I still wanted to go. I still wanted you to go and see it. I wanted you to see how the Mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the Mastermind actually knew about that room. But to attack you and steal everything in the room? That must mean that there is some unknown clue in there, and that could reveal the Mastermind's identity. Then you knew I was going to get attacked? You can handle that kind of thing, though, right? After all, you're a boy. What do you think she a boy is? What does she think a boy is? Fine, I understand. Let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said, you must not leave? We shouldn't talk about that here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance cameras. Oh. I'm looking into it. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have had a say in the matter in the first place. So, now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Did you think I wouldn't notice you're hiding something? Am I wrong? That's... What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Um, well... Hey. We're friends. You should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right. That there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence... Or, or doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. Oh! No, 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 no. Is this our first branching path choice? Oh, I really hope this is not. Because if I mess something up, then that's sad, but... I haven't found conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, it can make things much worse. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but... There's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. 
Sorry. I can't tell you. Not yet. Correct. So, that's your answer. However, but do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share? I'm sorry. I really am. That's fine. It's fine. With those, her, as her parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. I've already taken a good look at things around here. There's a lot to think about. Now I should go back to the dining hall and talk to the others. It wasn't my first... I don't think I'm going to get a branching path thing. Not long after the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes... So... This is everyone. Okay, let's discuss all that we've discovered. Yeah, good idea. Let's start with Kyoko. Um, Kyoko? She's ignoring me. Hey, Makoto. Does Kyoko seem upset to you? She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Yeah, it looks like it. I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Ah, uh, this is bad. There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor. It had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least have a peek. I highly recommend it. I think you and our and Ogre are probably the ones interested in that stuff. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. There was a medicine and health stuff on the top shelf that... There was also um a bunch of different poisons. Poison? They were all labeled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. Still, we better be careful and make sure we're care or better make sure we're careful around there. And probably shouldn't tell Miyakio or Toko about the poison, right? What do you mean? Well, just in case, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, just in case. Yeah, I think you're right. However, it's Miyakio. It won't be long before he's discovered it for himself, anyway. To put. And something as dangerous as poison right out in the open? That's absolutely the work of the mastermind. Metal sheets that have been attack attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an inch. In words, Just like somewhere else. Everywhere else. Escapes from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. I found a couple of rooms on the fourth floor, but they were all locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. The headmaster's room. That sounds exactly like the kind of place where we can find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door to get inside. Who cares about a stupid lock? It should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. What was that? What? No, please continue. Did you say that I have the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips in the town? Is that what you told me? What the heck? heck no, I didn't. Hey. Then what did you say? Because I want to know. You weren't talking about tearing down the room to the head door of the headmaster's room, were you? Uh, knocking down the headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? That's my room, you know. It is now, anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off, do you? You have any clue how? Are you have? Do you have any idea how much bacteria lives in a single bear claw? Um, no, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. I am not mad. I'm just disappointed. You are totally mad, bruh. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're gonna go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add it to the school regulations. Seriously. Breaking down the door locked breaking down a locked door is strictly prohibited. There are the there's the rules now, you jerks. New rule has been added to the regulations menu. Has he gone? Ugh, man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was gonna kill me for serious. But if he wouldn't go out of his way to make up a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. But now it's a rule. There's nothing we can do. Hmm. So, has everyone said what they need to say? Hmm. I think so. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all. Let alone a way to get out of here. Uh... I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone do something. Please cheer me up. Um, can I say something? 
it's because my dad was smoking in his bed. Uh, that's not, not, I have something like I'd like to report. So you guys remember, right? You remember when the, I found a picture up on the third floor the other day? You mean the one with Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon together, right? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture, almost like that one. Another one. But this time it had a picture of Celeste, Fumi, and Sakia, or S Sayaka. Huh? And they were all smiling. And the class, it was, and the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal covering on the windows either. So the picture of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one of Celeste, Fumi, and Sayaka? How can that... Monokuma ha must fa have faked it. But if this picture is real, then everyone who is in it... There would have been some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. What? Can't be. It's a fake. But Monokuma said it was real. I know we could have just write that off as a lie, but... So then. then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died. Huh? Because... That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, it's not. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. Th that's not... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. Come on, guys. Stop fighting, or all your good luck is going to float away. Anyway, Makoto, so you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to Monoku what anything Monokuma has to say. You might be right, but still. Are you, are you still so conflicted? It looks like you guys tried to have stopped playing nice. Byakuya. Um. <clears throat> You all have the sunken, <coughs> the same sunken look on your face. You were also ugly before, so you shouldn't let them sink any lower. When I look at you, it makes me think a frog is sinking into a pile of manure. Sorry? Why are you apologizing? Leave us alone. You are not part of this. That's true enough, but your problems aren't mine. We are and always will be completely separate. <laughs> so whatever's causing your faces to turn as ugly as has absolutely nothing to do with me. If... I happen to discover a vital cure. It wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? Did he finally say something useful? Biakia, what have you been up to? I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you even some good. I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath. Is he saying that he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? Seems... Maybe we should all go take a bath. Ah, good idea. A mixed bath? A mixed bath! If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. To the bathhouse. To the bathhouse in the next episode. Because it's already been almost 40 minutes. What the heck? That did not feel like 40 minutes. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.